I'm Roger Nichols, and I'm standing here in the Institution of Civil Engineers in front of the ICE 200 exhibition, which is loads of fascinating projects. I came into civil engineering to be able to create a career which combined my curiosity as an engineer with the opportunity to address social inequity. If you're going to make an impact, then you have to work in engineering that addresses the opportunities of our age. No project exemplifies that better than the Millennium Dome and the redevelopment of the Greenwich Peninsula. London, like most cities, attracts people faster than its economy can grow. That leads to issues with infrastructure and, as always, a housing shortage. All cities have an industrial past and, with that, significant brownfield sites. Greenwich Peninsula was one of those, the site of the old East Greenwich Gas Works, a toxic waste dump, yet adjacent to the Thames, the start of what's become the Thames Gateway. Regeneration of that area was key to addressing the huge economic divide between the poor South Bank of London and the prosperous North. The renowned architect Richard Rogers had responded to a design competition for the peninsula in the mid-1990s, and as part of his livable city's master plan, he had an entertainment district. Cities only really work if they're human and accessible, and the aim of the master plan was to regenerate and create a new city district. The government at the time realised that the land could only be developed if they undertook the most risky part, the clean-up. At the same time, the hunt was on for a site for an exhibition to celebrate the millennium. Time was running out and the solution needed to be a fast-built, loose-fitting and highly flexible because nobody knew what would be in the exhibition. The solution also needed to be a non-hierarchical celebratory structure. It needed to have excellent access to London and to create a lasting legacy for the city. Where better than Greenwich, the home of the observatory and the home of time? Using that as an inspiration, Richard Rogers and Bureau Apple came up with the idea of a large circus tent, building on many of the tensile membrane structures that we collaborated on before, all while a massive clean-up got underway, led by a team of civil and environmental engineers. The dome, as it became known, although it isn't a dome, has a circumference of 365 metres, days of the year, 12 masts, months, 24 scalloped edges, hours, and is 52 metres high, weeks, times key in its inspiration. This was and still is one of the largest tensile membrane structures ever conceived and therefore from the beginning it was truly engineering led. At the time the team were working at the limits of maths or computational engineering as we describe it today, pushing the bounds of technology with the fabric and ETF, ETFE coated PVC. The cables and the form finding similar levels of design were also going into the internal environment people movements, fire and inclusive design, and trying to fully understand the relationship between the structure, its natural environment, and the people who'd experience it. Through a hugely collaborative effort, led by civil engineers at Robert McAlpine, work on the building started in 1997 with 8,000 pilots. Then 1,600 tons of steel sections were assembled on site, the towers. They were erected in October 1997, followed by the cable net being assembled on the ground and then lifted into place in early 1998. Then the installation of the fabric started in earnest, and that was completed in autumn 1998. No other form of structure could have been built this quickly, delivered in 15 months, on time and under budget at a staggeringly cheap £43 million. The project was a huge engineering success. 20 years on from the completion of the dome, we can celebrate so much more. Greenwich Peninsula has more in-place planning approvals than any other area in London. The O2 has become one of the most successful entertainment venues in the world. And through our advances in digital and inclusive design, anyone over 10 can now walk over the top of the structure, just like the Sydney Opera House. Regeneration projects are unique because they're usually delivered in the span of a career. Greenwich Peninsula is one of those projects for me, in a city I love and that I can consider to be a citizen. My great-grandfather had a shop in Greenwich, my grandparents were married in Greenwich Church, and my grandfather was a special constable in Plumstead. These days I have my own memories of bands I've seen at the O2 and the exhilaration of walking over the top of it with my friends. It means something to me. Richard Rogers' vision for a Greenwich Peninsula so ambitious then is being delivered not without challenge or controversy, with huge amounts of engineering focus and intent. The city he saw in the east is coming to life and the Thames Gateway is following close behind. The dome is a huge part of that identity and it was created through astounding engineering and an attitude that was prepared to take on the challenge. Projects like the Millennium Dome have given me a fantastic career in engineering and enabled me to take on all sorts of projects all over the world. Who wouldn't want to be a part of that?